Everything I say is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Hey everybody, let's get into this review of Real Housewives of Potomac Season 8, Episode 4, In a Pickle. So we got Ineka. She picks up her husband from the airport. He's a, he's a travel medicine person. I don't know how to, to call it, you know, the technical term for it. Uh, she said his job is interfering in her ovulation plans and having a baby. Um, they get a call from Karen inviting them to play pickleball. Karen wants to bring the group together. Good luck. Uh, Ineka brings up Wendy talking about her being aggressive and upset. Wendy was not aggressive and upset. The problem I'm having with you, Ineka, is that it was the sister and mother that called. Wendy ain't called you not once. So why you keep win mentioning Wendy's name? Which is her point of you trying to get clout. But anyway, let me tell you now, I don't like the narrative that Ineka is painting. Two weeks prior, Ineka received a call from an in-law telling Ineka that she got a call from Wendy's older sister and mother about Ineka using Wendy's name for clout. And she did. She's using it now in this first scene, okay? Then her husband said, it's a Nigerian feeling like you're going to take her spot. Uh, no. Y'all trip. Let me tell you, it's coming off as clout chasing. I ain't going to lie. It's coming off as clout chasing. Like, if y'all want to be on here on y'all own merit, stop talking about Wendy. Y'all don't even know her. Y'all know her because his cousin know them. Like, y'all whack for that. Instead of coming on this show as a fellow Nigerian and getting to know Wendy... You're choosing to tear her down along with throwing her husband into Why it. Why not come on the show on your own merit? Okay. Wendy and, excuse me, Robin and Giselle met up for lunch. They talk about Robin meeting with Ineka and telling her about Wendy's mom and sister in the shrine. They talk about Juan and Robin said... She nor Juan don't care what people say. But then why you get upset? Why they killed your joy? Okay. Robin said Juan is hard of hearing from coaching. That's why he talks loud. Because Giselle claimed that Juan was yelling at her. Also, Ineka asked Robin to say nothing to anyone. But of course, Robin couldn't hold her goddamn tongue. Okay. She, Robin gonna say and she putting voodoo on people. Child, Robin, shut up. Robin, you talk too much. And then get mad. When people talk about you. It's insane. It's totally insane. So Candace and her mom, they talk about her being on tour and spending so much money to, you know, get people to know who she is. She said it worked, but she's broke. Candace's mom wants to know if if Chris is making money doing his online classes. Um, a mom asked Candace about Robin, her and Robin's relationship. Candace says she don't know about Robin because she rode the fence when they came at her husband last season. And Robin did, okay? She knew Giselle was dead ass wrong. Candace's mom said, you all should have a conversation about Robin and Juan because Candace thinks she was lying and covering up for Juan. And that's basically all she will do is lie. Candace said, adults don't lie. Her mom said, yes, they do. And they do, okay? Karen and Ray um, pick a ball event. Karen decides to team people together who are not getting along. Candace and Giselle don't speak to each other, rightly so, all because Giselle wanted a storyline of the last season. And Neca comes in and speaks to Wendy, and Wendy speaks to her with no problem or attitude. Uh, everybody is shocked to see Juan walking with Robin, because usually he always got something to do, okay? Especially when it comes to supporting Robin. Candace wants to know what Robin's issue is with her and is lost, but production made sure to refresh her memory, okay? Robin said she talked about my husband and you didn't talk about Candace's husband? Crazy reasoning to me. They all sit down to eat after they play the game of pickleball, okay? Ashley stuck her nasty hands in the pickle jar. Ew. Anyway, Karen brings up Robin in her speech and Juan runs away. Because they don't want to talk about nothing that may have happened with Juan because that's where Karen was trying to go. But uh, anyway, then here goes Ineka trying to make her mark. Ineka said she feels like uh, her and Ashley um, had a miscommunication and feels like Ashley sent the wrong message. Wendy and Aneka said they don't know each other. Then Aneka said, I hear you have a problem with me. And Wendy said, how can I have a problem with you when I don't know you? Aneka proceeds to talk about how Wendy, older sister and mom, spoke to Aneka in-laws and her, being submit, her name being submitted to a shrine. And Wendy is lost. And said she did not call anybody. Wendy said, you came to deliberately attack me and it's a flop. Wendy then said the fact that an article came out about Wendy and her family being Osu and a shrine was mentioned in the article speaks to um, what Aneka is talking about. And Ashley was like, I told her I said the wrong thing. I don't know why you mad, Ashley. 
because you shouldn't have never brought it up, okay? You wanted to stir the pot, now you're going to be in the pot. Wendy said, my mother prays to God. And Necker said, by day and by night she worships shrines. Child, that was cause for a beatdown, okay? Now, that's just rude, in my opinion, to talk about someone's mother like that. Wendy decides to work it out with Mia, ah, child, that was a deflection, okay? But Robin, you ain't got the right to say it's deflection because you famous for deflecting, okay? Robin tells Ashley because Wendy walked away, it must be true. So Juan denying everything people saw with their own eyes must be true too, right? Robin, they both said they didn't know each other. The hell? So Giselle and her friend off is whispering, talking about and Neca is what Aneka is saying is true. Of course, of course, you and Robin want to be on that side, child. I just don't like how Aneka keeps talking about Wendy's mom because if it was your mom, you would have went off. If it was my mom, Aneka would have got a beat down. Okay. Candace said the Nigerian girl should not be arguing. She was talking to Aneka. Aneka again mentions the shrine. And just as she said that, the food falls, making it seem like it was something mystical. Okay. It was just Juan's clumsy ass. And Neca is still screaming at the top of her lungs about the shrine. And then trying to prove that Eddie knows her husband because they were Facebook friends. And were sat in the same, I don't know, African something class together. Listen, you know how many students is in a class and we sit in a class together? Yeah, we know of each other because we have a class together. But that don't mean we know each other. The hell? So they get into a whole argument about Wendy's husband, Eddie, unfollowing Aneka's husband. And Wendy was like, so we going to fight over Facebook? Child, for me, knowing each other and knowing of each other is two different things. Aneka, you and your husband, y'all looking desperate. Y'all looking like y'all trying to gain a spot on this show and trying to downplay Wendy and her husband who put in the work to be on this show. Okay. Um, Can I ask, what show... What What is slow as Mia saying? She said, you don't follow someone on Facebook and then go look them up and unfollow them. Girl, yes, you do. You know how many people I follow because I saw an interesting video or a post. And then I may see something come down their timeline that I don't like and don't agree with and I'll unfollow them. That don't mean I know them. So Wendy might have a point about you being slow. Okay. Following someone on Facebook does not validate you know them. And Necker calls Wendy mother a witch. Child, it would be on and popping after that, okay? But I feel like Wendy heard all of that. She took it all in, and she going to get her get back. I just get that Aneka thinks she's better than Wendy. Maybe because her, of her generational wealth. Okay? But just know, you can put shit and out there. Don't think she ain't going to come out about you. So watch your back, girl. And another thing. When they showed that little snippet of the phone call, the person did not say anything about putting her name on the shrine. She said it was things being said about messiness in the shrine and that she not did not have the capacity to deal with it because that's not something she deals with or understand. But you and your husband was looking, while y'all was on that phone call, you and your husband was looking guilty. Like y'all was using Wendy's name to get on this doggone show. Now, Aneka, if you up here because of things you heard of Wendy and her family, I'm going to need you to... Kill that storyline. Kill it. Don't even do it. We've seen this before. Okay, because it's going to be fight fire with fire. I'm sure things happen in your family that you don't want displayed on national TV. So just be careful. Okay, let's talk about your generational wealth and the house you bought in Potomac. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.